Today we are going to take a look at Catalyst High Prelim 2021, Paper 1, Question 1A. Without using tables of calculator, find the value of k such that you are given a third expression here. You're supposed to simplify this so they can reach the answer that contains k and find out what k is. Now let us take a look at the expression here. At the first look, it might look a bit scary to you, okay? Now, you just have to be a bit patient because um, you can actually make use of several ways to reach the answer for k, but some way might be a bit longer. So looking at it, what can you do, okay? So one of the methods that you can do is to rationalize, 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 and this one too, okay? Or you see that three fractions here. You can also try to combine the fraction, change them to common denominator. And I'm going to choose the third way. So the third way is I'm going to multiply this fraction into this bracket here. Okay, so let's take a look at this method. So first one, I'm going to multiply 3 to 10. That's a 30. Now what I can do here is I can see that 15 can split into 5 times 3. So I'm going to split it to square root 5 times square root 3 and this one I multiply in here so I will write another square root 5 for the first fraction okay now let's take a look at the second one okay so I'm going to lower this square root 2 for 3 down you can check with your calculator you can change it to 81 times 3 so I'm going to change this one to square root 81 times square root 3 and of course this numerator I'm going to multiply in here I still have a times 3 divided by, so now I'm going to copy this one here, I have 3 times square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to be a 5, okay, so I'm going to change that. Now the third fraction here, I multiply 3 to 20, so that's going to be a 60, and I'm going to lower down 180, okay, so check your calculator, it's going to be a 36 times 5, so I'm going to change it to square root 36 times square root 5, and this one multiply in here, so I have another time of square root 5. Okay, now let's take a look at next step here. So I have set 5 times set 5, I can change it to 5. So copy back the set 3, and numerator I will also copy back here. Okay, how about the second one? Second one, this 3 and this 3 divide, so it's gone. So next, this square root 81 is 9. So I have 9 square root 3 over 5. Okay, so the last one here, I have 60. Okay, so I'm going to do this square root 36 to become a 6. All right, square root 5 times square root 5, that's going to be a 5. All right, so next step here. Now, this one here, do not have cert underneath here. So this step here, you can proceed to do rationalization. So what we can do is, I'm going to multiply set 3. See, I don't have space on the right. I'm going to write it here. Okay, multiply set 3 over set 3 for the first expression. So from here, I'll have 30 set 3 as the numerator. 5 here. Set 3 times set 3 is going to be a 3, okay? So for 5 times 3 is going to be a 15. I'm going to write this one back. Now, this 6 times 5 is a 30. 60 divided by 30, you'll get a 2, which is good. 2 is this one here. Alright? So, set 3 is going to be the one at the back. So, I'm going to move the 2 in front here. Plus, so you notice that this consists of set 3. Set 3 and set 3, you can minus. They are like terms. So, 30 divided by 15 is going to be a 2, okay? Minus 9 over 5. I'll put a set 3 at the back here, okay? So this one minus, last answer, 2 plus 1 over 5, set 3. Compared to the answer, k value must be 1 over 5, okay? So if you have a little bit more time after you finish your paper, how can you check this answer over here? So you can take out your calculator, type this whole thing, the first line in your question, and check what's the decimal value. And then you type this one. So you should roughly get the value as 2.346 for this expression here. And also for the expression here. 
so that you can confirm that you have done the correcting during the simplification process. Okay?